So the, um, the crazy NBA news today, a couple of trades went down, but the, dra the, the trade that everybody, including myself, was kind of like, wow, you didn't expect that, uh, see that coming. The Warriors moving on from Jordan Poole and bringing in Chris Paul, <laughs> the almost 40-year-old point guard. Uh, yeah, Chris Paul backing up Steph Curry, I have to see it to believe it. I think Chris Paul is going to find a way to – get himself out of that. I just don't see that happening, as funny as it is. But uh, the real thing with Jordan Poole uh, and for a couple of draft picks, and it's like, they just paid this guy all his bread. He got this big contract that, you know, whoever, you know, the, the Wizards are going to have to take on. Um, this is a young guy, you know, 24 years old, and usually when an organization takes, has to make a decision, you know, they usually go with youth. And they're bringing in a guy almost twice his age who really ain't got much left in the tank, all due respect. And Poole, I mean, yeah, granted, Poole had a terrible playoff stretch. He was horrible. I mean, in the regular season, he put up almost 20 a clip. But in the playoffs, he was horrible, especially against the Lakers. Uh, he was terrible. <laughs> he was terrible. Now they're saying Golden State will not waive Chris Paul and is looking forward to partnering with the star to make a title run. That's what they say. I don't see Chris Paul wanting to do that. But um, unless he's willing to take the Gary Payton route, you know what I mean, and try to win a championship like that. But, yeah, th to me, this was more about um, the Draymond situation. And it looks like they're going to keep him also. That's another Grizzly veteran. I'm like, y'all going to pick him over Draymond? I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? If you look at it, and I think ever since that situation where it happened last year, Going in, you know, in the going into the season with Draymond punching Jordan Poole, it, it humiliated Jordan Poole, and I'm not trying to make excuses for him because the easiest thing to say is, well, he got fat and paid. He got paid. He got fat and got lazy. He got the bag, and you know whatever. But I, I think when you get into a fight with a teammate, and this wasn't no regular teammate. This is a cornerstone of the franchise. This is one of the pillars of the team, the heart and soul of the locker room. I think psychology, like like psychology wise, I just think he was he wasn't he wasn't into it. I just think it, it took him out of it. Uh, it was awkward the whole year. I remember watching the first couple games and you seeing the energy. The Warriors didn't suspend Draymond. He was there the whole season. It, it had to be awkward, you know what I mean? They they find him, but that was it. So they're basically showing you where their loyalty lies. Like yeah, we might have paid you all that bread, but. Uh, <laughs> Nah, we good on you. Cause when they play, when they mad at most, he didn't show up in the playoffs. Now they signed. He got a four year deal for 128 million dollars last year, and they're moving on from him a year later. I'm like, wow, the NBA is foul, man. <laughs> now the boy, the Wizards are gonna carry on this contract, so it ain't like he ain't gonna get his bread. But man, you would think when you get that kind of a deal. That, you know, this is a play. What if he would have went and bought a home based off that contract and he went and bought a home out there in Oakland? You know what I mean? Like, you would think, okay, well, it, but it just, man, it, it, there's nobody safe in the NBA. Nobody, yeah, including Jordan Poole. And I think he got a little, you know, he, he might have had championship hangover. You out here dating rappers, the Ice Spice chick. I think they said he spent like half a million on a date, something wild like that. You know what I mean? But... I don't think he was that bad. Where if they should have moved on him that fast, though, I was like, "Damn!" I mean, he could have bounced back. Maybe they they just said, "Eff it, <laughs> you out of here." That was that was the wildest trade of the day that I've just seen so far. And then the Chris Paul factor, bringing in Chris Paul, I, I just don't see Chris Paul doing it. Maybe he does. He has a little history with Steve Kerr. I just don't see Chris Paul coming in and being in Steph Curry's shadow. You know what I mean? And Steph, Chris Paul's the first ballot Hall of Famer, but you not he's not the in, influential player that Steph is or was. You didn't change the way pe people play the game. You know what I mean? You were a good fundamental point guard. You know, you plenty of playoff uh, runs. I say runs because you didn't really go that far. But no, I don't see that happening. But um, Jordan Poole is going to the Wizards. <laughs> Paul, Chris Paul was a wizard for what, a day? You know, the Wizards are getting busy right now. They done moved on from Bill, Porzingis. They bringing in Poole. Maybe they trying to build something special down there. Who knows? Who's a Wizards fan? Let me know. 
But uh, Jordan Poole's coming down there. Let me know what y'all think. This is more about Draymond than anything. Because, like I said, Draymond didn't play that well either last year. But the expectations were a lot lower for him than it is for, for Poole. You know, but they decided to move on. I'm like, just rarely do you see a team, an organization pick the veteran over the, the, the young guy. But in this case, they did. So let me know what y'all think. I'm out.